it going, everybody? My name is Ethan Alexander, and welcome to the Mimic Trap, the lovely, uh, magical junk shop you see before you. Interdimensional, may I add. Uh, not that it's very full of junk at the moment. I still haven't added a damn thing to the shop. I have just not had time or the constitution for it, to be honest. Um, but hey, everybody, welcome, welcome. We're gonna be working on art today. Hey, Spots! Um, I, I feel that answer my bones. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I did uh, see, I think, that like your computer's messed up and stuff like that, so I hope things are going better now, question mark, or that at least things get better by Halloween, because everyone deserves a good, fun, spooky Halloween. Um, but yeah, so it has been a hot minute. <laughs> uh, it's been two weeks since I last chatted with you guys, and it has been... It has been. I have updates from everything from silly little health things to uh, work drama that has come to the precipice that it is. Yeah. Spots, they aren't, but I'm here and I'm living. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming to spend time with me. I really appreciate it. You're always a joy to have. Um, but I hope things get better. And I hope you have a good Halloween. Like I said, everyone deserves a good, fun, spooky Halloween or whatever flavor of Halloween you enjoy, if it's a cute Halloween or whatever. Um, I have chugged a most of my oversized mug of tea <laughs> in preparation for stream. So I, when this kicks in, it's gonna be full uh, machine gun lips mode. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't doubt the small amount of caffeine in this tea will hit me soon. I've got a tiny bit left at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's been, it's honestly been. But speaking of Halloween and we'll get into stuff, Spots and you two may the spooky season be with you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this is why we're here. We're actually doing spoopy season stuff today. Um, we are going to be working on uh, the art that I've been working on off scene quite a bit. Uh, well, I say quite a bit, but it's been mostly the thing that took me the longest was getting the uh, Clip Studios 3D poser to become the pose I needed for my flamboyant ass. <laughs> Not Azu's. Azu's I knew immediately exactly which of the poses from the many of things I have downloaded, which one I wanted. There was a specific one and I'm very pleased with it. Mine, I'll show you guys. Hold on, let me just, let's go over to the game screen, which is now our art screen. I made sure and I switched it out to my drawing. Uh, icon, I drawing uh, asset. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. So we are going to be Rune, char Rune Factory characters. Um, Azu here is dressed up like uh, Dolce from uh, Rune Factory 4, and I am dressed up uh, like the non, unfortunately non romanceable Terry from Rune Factory 5. I'm not gonna lie, I saw the lineup of romance options for Rune Factory 5, and um, then I met Terry, and I was like, okay, like, I'm fine with the one I've picked, but, like, why can't I date this detective? <laughs> that spot's cute. Look at you both. Rune Factory love. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, so if you guys are wanting to know what the, what the characters look like, let me make sure this is coming up on screen. Okay, yeah, it's coming up on screen. Um, this is Dolce on the left. She is almost Azu's exact personality. I I shit you not. This is basically Azu. If anybody wonders what Azu is like in real life, this. <laughs> Meanwhile, then we have Terry over here on the right, who I apparently had not realized how plunging his neckline was until I decided to draw him. I was like, hmm, that's a lot more booba than I was uh than I realized. <laughs> But yeah. Oh, hold on. Azu has literally just woken up. Azu's sleep schedule is a little messed up. So I am going to mute for a hot sec so they can run around the room real quick. And I will be right back. One sec.
Alrighty, and I'm back. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> but yeah, so we're we're being uh, Rune Factory characters. I'm super excited. Um, this has been a whole thing. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? I was saying something about, oh yes, Terry is not romanceable. I am offended. <laughs> Um, Azu also played Rune Factory 5 a little bit. We both did the thing where we played, like, for the first... I have a tendency to speedrun any kind of farming game that has extra stuff to it. So I was very progressed through the, uh, progressed through the story by the time uh, the first season was up. And Azu uh, doubled and or tripled my the progress that I had made on their playthrough. Uh, but they also agree that some of the characters that aren't romanceable are a crime. Like, um, the, the fox mom from, um, from Room Factory 5. I don't remember her name to save my life, but Azu's like, I would happily adopt the small child. I, th there, there's not a problem here. <laughs> Just let me take them off. <laughs> Just really, really funny to me. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, okay, I will... Let me adjust my mic one sec. Uh, I will uh, date Butterfly Boy because, of course, I went for the chuny little shit. <laughs> uh, but I want, I want this guy. I want, I want, uh, I want Terry. <laughs> I want the detective. I saw him and was like, "Oh, hello. Are you romanceable? No." <laughs> Spots. Isn't that how it always goes? The ones you want to date and then they're uh, are just there to look pretty and taunt you, right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm sure it's something along the lines of uh, the main character always seems to be younger and uh, those particular characters are consider considered like, I guess, 30, like 40 and it's just like, yeah, but we're in a fantasy setting and I <laughs> don't want to date the detective boy because he's the most little brother of a little brother I've ever met in my life and I, I just can't. <laughs> That's just not this is not the vibe I go for. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're working on this. Oh, let me show you the progress. So we started out with, let's see, let me turn off me outlines. So I started out with this whole idea of uh, poses. Yeah, no, Azu's is a is one that comes from. I had to position all the items and everything. That was. A bitch. I there's probably some way to do the three D modeling that is easy, and I don't know what it is. Spots, let us be old. Yes, thank you. Let us be old. <laughs> let me be an adult. <laughs> I'm supposed to be of legal age in these games. Let me be an adult. God damn it. I don't want to date the the character that looks like a little boy. Not my vibe. No, thank you. I want the man. <laughs> Um, but yes, so uh, there is definitely, um, there's probably some easier way to do the 3D rendering uh, for these. Um, the sassy ass pose I chose for myself was so hard to actually get to work. Um, the amount of positioning I've done <laughs> to get it to this point and the amount of um, decisions I have uh, undecided and redecided and changed. <laughs> yeah, so I finally came to this. Uh, but yeah, so then it was just a matter of adding the character's clothes, which, oh right, I had an extra layer so that I wouldn't mess one up. And then our actual features. So that's been, that's been the whole thing. And now I am on, let's see, ba -ba 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 -ba. that's hair outlines, where are you? Oh, that's the, what did I put the, oh, I, I don't know why I put the uh, Azu's earrings in as the, uh, is that spots oh i love the poses too much though thank you i'm so glad you do because i wanted this to give a good vibe and this is very much azu's vibe in in a nutshell of just like yes let me eat flan let me eat pudding let me enjoy life i care of nothing else <laughs> and mine is like why hello <laughs> because i can't wear a costume and not be just very full of sass uh uh, they they made the mistake of asking me to be um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing while we're uh, while we're chatting. They made the uh, they made the mistake of asking me to be the um, elf one year for uh, for a Christmas thing, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I almost bro <laughs> broke a table sliding next to someone at a full run, and then 
sliding on the table to be next to them and it was the funniest thing i'm like oh i'm i'm being way too much right now i'm at like a 15 i should be like a seven at max <laughs> um yeah, you can't put me in a costume and not have everything come out. <laughs> uh, Spots, you look like the sassy character that becomes the fan favorite. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm very silly when it comes to stuff like this. All right, so let's see. I am on just the regular outlines. I'm about to hand do all of this lace, by the way. Ethan, you are a treasure. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Um, yes, I'm about to hand you all of this lace. I was going to make a brush, but then it's the same lace that's down here. And my brain went, if this resizes and the thickness of the lines are not to my liking, I will be upset and want to trace over them anyway. So I'm just going to do it all by hand. This is my process. I could do things that are simple. I don't. <laughs> I could make things easy on myself, and that is not at all ever what happens. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, maybe, let me get the spacing correct before I start filling in the lacy bits. Oh, I already hate this. Why am I not doing a brush? I could at least for this part. Do I have, do I have a scalloped brush? Let me see if I have a scalloped brush. I doubt I do. Let's see, scallops. That would be a pattern, I think. I would have put that under pattern. I have plenty of other lace, but I wanted the appropriate lace for the character. Because she is very she's very specific lace. And there is no lace brush at all that looks like that. It's not really it doesn't really feel lace so much as like the ends of doilies. Kind of. I guess. I can't wait to color this. this is, I'm going to be very excited to color all this. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't think I have a... It wouldn't be under, it wouldn't be under effects either. Where would I have put a scallop? I don't think it is. No, so I'm just going to... I'm just go ahead. I'm giving up the search. <laughs> There's no use. I have not had this... Oh, here, let me just... This might be... A world of easy on me. I'm sorry you guys get to see the the wild time that is. Oh, that was much better. I'll just leave it about that thin. That'll be fine. I don't know how weird it looks rotating it on the screen for you guys, but it's weird enough for me, so. I adore doing lace. It never always turns out exactly the way I want it to, but I do actually really like doing lace. I should just design some lacy brushes. Make myself happy. You know what? I'm only going to be able to do that from the proper angle, aren't I? Yep. All right. So let's do that. So yeah, so um, my, my life the past couple weeks has been interesting. Um, so I've had all that work drama, right? And it's still sort of fluctuating. Every time I think it's getting better, it gets worse again. And it's always for varying reasons. It's never it's never the same thing twice. Which, God, if that isn't just a mood. Um, it, it's it got to a point recently. Well, we'll just we'll just touch on where we're at now. So it has gone from everything was fine. Um, my coworker that's out frequently because she has kids who have problems. Hey, Sleepy! Sleepy's lurking. Thank you for lurking. You're always welcome. I'm always happy to have you. I don't also, I need to hang out with you guys some more, like, off stream. Because I haven't chatted with everybody, like, voice to voice in a while, and I miss you guys. Um... But yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, it's been... So, my coworker who has the kid issues, she's out a lot. Um, she's very much a mom of four mostly grown children. Three of them are already out of the house. The last one is in her last year of high school. Um, and yet she's still constantly out for things. Which is frustrating, but like I deal with it and I've learned to deal with it. That's just my life. And the, uh, the new girl is still having a problem with that. I've just learned to roll with it. But it's gotten to such a point that... So I have a weird stress condition stress condition it's more of an anxiety symptom where my body will 
upon uh, me reaching a certain threshold of not understanding that I'm stressed out, will alert me to the stress by just knocking me on my ass and making it so I can't do anything. That can be a range of, I physically can't do anything, like my limbs feel heavy, I'm too tired to function, um, uh, occasionally like my limbs get tingly, to uh, when I'm having a really bad episode, it'll be like my limbs will start shaking uncontrollably, like I have zero control over it, uh, and I can develop a stutter. And my body decided I needed to sit my happy ass down and take a break. So I missed a couple days of work, which was unfortunate. Um, and then catching up was a bitch because <laughs> no one can do my work but me. Even though my boss is frequently like, uh, oh yeah, let us know if you need us to do anything. It's like, you don't do the things I do, so I can't ask you to do them for me. Uh, spot, so no, please take care of yourself, Ethan. That's so much on you. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to be good and take care of myself. I really am. I just genuinely do not know when I'm approaching too much stress because I'm kind of always stressed. <laughs> I'm kind of always stressed. Uh, and um, I have gotten through life honestly, in general, by ignoring it for the most part. And, and up to a certain point, that has been fine. But ever since I've moved out of the house, all this other good stuff, um, you know, now I've got adult life stressors on top of old life stressors. Uh, I kind of I kind of don't know until my body's like, nope, that's it. One too many things, you're sitting. This is not looking right to me. So I'm trying <laughs> as best I can. <laughs> Eh, it's well enough. Azu, keeping Ethan's stress down is a full-time job. Yes, I'm very sorry. Azu has unfortunately become my live-in therapist. Uh, and they do a lovely job at it. I am just a project. And I would forewarn any potential uh, romantic interests I ever have in my life that I'm a, I'm, I'm a handful. I don't want to be. I don't want to be high maintenance. I'd rather not be, thank you. I'd love to be self-sufficient. <laughs> But I need cuddles and just, uh, and I'm just a pain in the ass. <laughs> a spot's fighting the good fight, Azu. Yeah, Azu, Azu does a good job. Azu's honestly one of the things that keeps me sane. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's all been happening. And so then with all that, they've sort of been tolerating each other at work, my coworker and the new girl, um, because everything's been happening. Um, and now, this is two weeks in, I've been, I've had everything from stupid stress symptoms to uh, my teeth. Oh, yes. So um, I have on the back right side of my jaw, a cavity that is formed beneath the gum that is, so I have, so teeth are, hold on. Where's a, where's a good blank space for me to draw it? Oh God, I'm, hold on. Let me, let me reorient. Here we go. So uh, the back molars, right? Molars, molars kind of look like this, right? They have the little X in them. They have the, they go down and they have they have four roots, right? Something like that. I have on the very back part of my jaw a little thing that is grown over in direction of the other teeth. So like that. So it it's a little gum that grew over. And it's always just been there and it's been fine, but now it's decided it wants to just lift away and detach away from the tooth and underneath it this entire time going this way has been a cavity that has been forming. So that's that angry little bitch is there. And the the meat flap that is my gums has uh, decided it wants to get irritated now because uh, I, now things are getting underneath it. It's getting into the cavity. And I'm like, of course, on top of everything else. <laughs> My jaw has been, so, so I haven't been able to stream because I haven't been able to talk with any sort of, you know, <laughs> lack of pain. <laughs> Spot, you're doing your best, Ethan, thank you. Oh, that sounds so painful. It was, it was really, it wasn't, like, it wasn't the worst pain I've ever had. It was not. It was just kind of, it was an ache, but it was, my whole jaw was aching. It wasn't just the one tooth. The entire system was angry, and then the top part of my jaw decided it wanted to be angry too, and I'm like, why? And it's probably something to do with the way nerves are wired, or whatever, but, um, yeah. So that's been, a, that's been a thing. So with all that, and then I'm finally back to work, finally feeling better, I find out that, so my, uh, my coworker, the one who's been there a while and who has genuinely been trying to get along with the new girl, 
uh, and who's been doing good for the most part. Um, in fact, the new girl even commented on, yeah, she's been doing better, but the last week has been really stressful. I found out why the last week has been stressful. She's got a lot of family things going on, and some of them are concerning. Not that new girl is showing a lot of sympathy towards our coworker, because, you know, if it doesn't affect her, well, if it's affecting her in a negative way, she doesn't particularly seem to have a half a, a half a sympathy. She has a half a sympathy. That's about it. And that frustrates me to no end. Um, but yeah, so uh, now my boss in confidence, and I'm telling you all not in confidence because you guys don't know my, my coworkers. Um, my, co my coworker is quitting. My coworker is going to be leaving and I'm going to be stuck with a new girl whom I don't trust very well. Yeah, uh, so I'm having a right time. I'm having a grand old time. I've been I've been watching BL and reading new comics and just doing doing happy things to not be stressed out. I'm being very particular about this lace and I don't know why. Yeah, spots. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, indeed. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. I I don't blame her whatsoever. She has so much going on. And she's just, she's been having a lot going on. And it's, I've said that twice. But she's just had so much stress on her. Between the job, between trying to accommodate to the new girl. Because we are all walking around on eggshells. To try and make sure that everything's good and copacetic. And I love my boss, but, uh... She had told me before, she was like, yeah, so I thought we were going to have to uh, move new girl to a different department, but that problem is seems like it's going to rectify itself soon. And I'm like, I knew immediately she meant either my coworker was going on an extended vacation or my coworker was quitting. And I was correct because my boss thinks she's subtle. She is not. She is very not. It's like, mm, yeah, no, I knew. No one had to tell me the specifics, but I knew. Of course. So, and my coworker still has not told me, so I just have to keep that under wraps and pretend like everything's Gucci, as always. And yeah, no, it's just been, it's just been. I've been in various states of not feeling very pleasant, unfortunately. So I'm very happy to be back, and I'm thank you for listening to my my rant about my life. I feel like I have so much more to tell you guys about. And I do. I have good things to tell you guys about. Like the games I've been playing. The anime I've been watching. <laughs> um, spots. Eep. That's never a good sign when you hear that kind of news. Yeah. It's really not. Um, but yeah. So. Um, uh, I don't know. What have you guys been up to? Has anybody been watching anything uh, good recently? Anything new or interesting? Because I have been watching um, a couple of things with Azu. Uh, we, what was it we watched? Oh my gosh, we, <laughs> we watched the most immaculate shit post I think I've ever seen. It's, um, Unlucky Undead or Undead Unlucky. It's one of the combinations. It's on Hulu. Uh, and it is just, it's, it's an absolute beauty of shit post of anime. Um, it's only got, I think, three episodes out right now. So it's still in the, the process of releasing if anybody wants to watch it, but uh, yeah, no. So it's the one girl is, uh, she's super unlucky. She's kind of not cursed, but cursed uh, to that anybody she touches uh, uh, probably will die in the most unfortunate way. Like something unlucky happens to them. And a, a lot of times it's stuff like they just straight up die. It's very, it's kind of dark in a funny way. I don't know. I like dark stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's that's her. And then the guy that she meets is a guy who can't die to save his life. He just wants to die. He's a zombie. He can't. He's, he's basically immortal. And so he's like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way for you to kill me because this has got to be the only possible way <laughs> to die. And it's the funniest thing. Uh, do spill. Let's hear this track. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, no, it's I I love it so much. It's so funny. It's honestly, it's kind of the art style is very Dragon Ball to me, and I don't know if that's because it's been in. I don't know how it's been. It's rated mature, by the way, um, because they very hilariously censor the dongle every time he uh, dies and loses his clothes and comes back, um, where it's just a uh, a static censor bar of billowing in the wind. It's very funny. Um, I don't know how they got that through whatever Shonen Jump's uh, stuff is, but yeah, it has the, um, hold on, let's see what this looks like. It has this, it's very Dragon Ball art style, for the faces at least to me. I don't know if that's super accurate or not, but um, it's just, it's so much chaos constantly. Uh, it, like I said, it's very dark it, in, a, in a, we're not taking the dark parts super serious way, but this this girl is very much she's given up on a lot of what's going on in her life. She's like, I can't enjoy anything. I can't hug anybody. Can't even get my hair cut. You know, fuck this. And then in comes the zombie, and she's like, Okay, cool. I'll I'll live for this guy. And it's been sort of wholesome. Sort of wholesome. <laughs> it's it's an experience. It's I've never seen regenerative powers used so creatively in my life. It's beautiful. Also, a guy holding his severed head and then suddenly out pops the spine, uh, vertebra by vertebra, down <laughs> as he reforms. I will say this, it's very, it's kind of gruesome. If you don't like meat, <laughs> As, as only when, if you don't like seeing muscu muscles and like skeletal structures and like it's gory but not like in a way I would consider really gross it's the blood splatters are kind of funny honestly because he uses his regeneration to propel himself around he regenerates so quickly that he can fly is the funniest thing to me. It sounds like a wild ride. It is a wild ride. I honestly, if you can stomach like gore stuff and like kind of semi-traumatic uh, tropey elements, um, it's hysterical. It's so funny. It's great. Um, so so far it's been good, uh, but I've I've caught up to where it is. So I'm ex I'm interested to see where it goes. So that's one of the animes I've been watching. Um, and then we also started, um, oh, mm. what was the one we just watched? Oh, yes, I don't remember the name of it. Um, Azu, uh, it, the, the one with the girl who's very, the apothecary, uh, in, uh, ancient China. That one, that one's been... The Apothecary Diary. Yes, The Apothe Apothecary Diary. Yes, that one was really good. That also is only a couple episodes out so far, but I absolutely adore it. The main character is such a cat of a person. She's just she's just trying to live her life. She's had she's had a rough upbringing. Uh, Azu has read the entire like what's out of the comic, uh, so they kind of gave me a rundown on it, uh, and it's very much a the girl was raised in a brothel for a short amount of time and then was adopted by a doctor uh, and learned all kinds of apothecary secrets and she's really weirdly interested in poisons. And so it's kind of, it's kind of ends up being a detective thing because she ends up, so she gets, she gets kidnapped, right? This is all in episode one, by the way, it's not super spoilers. She gets kidnapped and gets sold off to the palace to be basically a handmaiden to uh, the concubines there. Oh, you love the monk? Oh, you've seen it! Yes! It's so good! Um, I, I only, I've only seen the thing. Mau Mau is so cute. Yes, I love Mau Mau. Mau Mau is just adorable. Every time she sees plants and like, it's like, hee hee, poisons. Oh, I get to do experiments. Yes, it's just, the whole thing is just so cute and I just love her. Um, and <laughs> I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned about the not quite romantic interest that is the the eunuch that is just a pretty boy who's the litmus test to see if the other ladies are being faithful. I don't know how to feel about him yet because <laughs> he gets way too excited about the fact that she thinks he's creepy. <laughs> She's like, I don't like you. And he's like, no one's ever not liked me before. This is great. She looks at me like a vile insect and he's happy about it. Just so fucking funny. I love it so much, but it's been it's been really cute, and it's very detective-y, which I like. I love mystery solving and uh, all that jazz. You can tell because I am currently dressed like a detective. 
but God, he is sparkly trash. I love him. He is sparkly trash. <laughs> I'll be quiet, but she's very much a precious cat. She is a precious cat. I, I just, I adore her. I'm super excited to see where it goes. And I'm not super worried about spoilers too much, um, just because Azu has read the whole thing. So like they're, they've already kind of given me the down low. Um, and I'm just kind of excited to see it, honestly. Um, but that's one. That's another one. I feel like there's so many ones I've watched recently. And also, I think the tea has hit me because I've gotten like 10 degrees hotter and I think I'm talking quicker than I usually do. I can't tell. <laughs> but um, we also have watched uh, Furiden, uh, the one where the elf, it's after the heroes have all saved the world and the elf is left to kind of out outlive uh, her party members who were mostly, most of them were humans. And it's, that one's really cute, but it's really bittersweet. It's very sad and I love it, but it's it's just, it's it's so much emotions. I have cried quite a bit. Like every episode, <laughs> every episode has been full of tears because I'm a sappy little bitch. <laughs> um, yes, but I, I really, that one's been really cute. I haven't seen, we watched up until I think episode four. Four. But I'm I'm really excited for that one to keep updating because that one's that one's a really interesting concept of a creature that lives potentially infinitely. I don't know how long elves actually live in the um, universe that they have it set in. Um, so we aren't a hundred percent sure how long she will live, or if elves have like in the I think Lord of the Rings, it's indefinite lifespan. Um, I don't know why I recall a quote of uh, the only thing that can kill an elf is a broken heart. I don't know if that's accurate or if that was from some god awful fan fiction I read once when I attempted to get into the Legolas fan fiction thing. And that was a mistake. People are people are weird about Legolas. Like he's nice and all, but like <laughs> people are really weird about Legolas. Uh, no shade. Like like what you like. I just. I, I just, I looked, I peeked into the fandom and I said, no. Nope. And also the, the Ghibli X Legolas stuff is not as cute as I thought it would. They're, they're at least the stuff I found hasn't been as cute as I thought it could be. Because I definitely can see that ship after watching the extended version of Lord of the Rings. Not so much with the basic theatrical cut, but with the, the extended director's cut, yes, definitely. <laughs> it would be very cute. Uh, spots that sounds like such a fanfic thing, but I can believe it for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can't figure out what angle I need to draw this at. All right, Azu. I would like to point out that Ethan never saw the extended cuts until I made him. Yes, that is correct. I did not know. So I saw the original theater versions in the theater when they came out as a youngling, um, just as a pup. But uh, yeah, so I didn't really even know that the extended versions were so extended. Like there's so much, for the second movie alone, there's like an extra like two hours of content that they cut out that is like, very important. And I'm very upset that like, I understand they have to cut it out for runtime, but it was very important. Like, like I'm like there's a whole and, and like the way the first movie ended, going over the water like to, the waterfall made zero sense until I saw the little bit they cut out of the extended version. I'm like, oh, so that's why they were suddenly riding over the waterfall. Stuff was happening. I didn't know that stuff happened. Just little things. Uh, Azu setting the record straight. Yes, oh, it was. I'm, I'm sort of really sad. I never watched the extended editions. I'm really happy that Azu made me. I I very much, I, like I loved Lord of the Rings before, but it's so much better. Like number one movie series, definitely. I've never seen a better adaptation either. I've, I've seen, I've seen some bad adaptations of some books. Oh my God, the Aragon one hurt me in my soul. <laughs> Azu, most things Ethan watches <laughs> are because of me, except for his BL, yes. Oh yes, I've also been watching BL. I finally dove into uh, Heaven's Official Blessing. I don't know what the actual name is. It's T, the thing is TGCF, 
I think is the acronym I see going around. But yes, I'm finally watching Heaven's Official Blessing, and I gotta say, I know how, like, censored things are for, like, Chinese media, uh, and that, like, the most you're gonna get towards, like, a romantic kiss uh, on that vein is gonna be, like, you seeing the back of one person's head and the kind of the little bit of the ponytail sticking out of the other, and it's like, you know they're kissing, but they can't show the kiss and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's chill or whatever. But I wasn't expecting the tension. Oh my God, the tension. Every episode was like, we're in the scene together. We haven't met before, but the vibes are immaculate and let's just stare at each other and be weird. And I'm like, there's so much sexual tension and no action happening upon it. But every word is dripping with like, it's not even innuendo. They don't have to say shit. They don't have to say anything that's sus, but the intention is there. You feel it in the air. It's just, it's great. I love it. This is Spots. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let Syra know she loves that. Spots. Me, meanwhile, being a bad influence and pushing Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. I got my phone here. I am being bad on stream and trying to bite a thing off my finger. Um, sorry, skin picking. Uh, I did not mean it's just currently in my way. Hold on. Let me get this. I have removed it successfully. Thank you. Okay. Let me look this up. So, Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Let's look at this. <laughs> While I wait for my phone to comply with my wishes, let's see. I'm gonna move over this little bit of lace stuff. Let's see. Spots. It's the same writer and it's like a mystery. Ooh, a mystery story. Okay, let's see. Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Leave me alone, Google. Stay signed out. No one needs to know my search history on my phone. I don't even want to know my search history on my phone. It's not even that bad. It's just cringe. Uh, is it a BL? I love it. The main character is such a chaos god. Oh, I do love a good mystery with a chaos goblin. Azu, you said mystery. He's interested. Yes. Yes, I am. It's a gay romance novel. Let's go. <laughs> I'm here for the gay. I That is, that is, all right. I, I don't, I, I know that shouldn't be a requirement for my reading, and it's not. It just certainly ups the excitement factor for me reading it. <laughs> Boys being happy makes me happy, and I can't really... Uh, I have to live vicariously somehow through someone. I'm certainly not living my best gay life right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. The novels are so good. Ooh. Uh, okay, I will keep this search up on my phone so I remember to actually look at it later. So I will. So let me put my phone away. Oh my god, I'm so hot right now. I do this every stream. Should I? Yeah. Hold on, I am, let me remove the jacket that I'm wearing. Ugh. He says, Ugh. yeah, okay. That's infinitely better. Uh, so I know I have gloves on and I always wear gloves while I'm doing my art and the palms are relatively open in the art gloves. However, Gloves make me overheat. I can wear a number of layers, but adding gloves on is like the iceberg because my palms release so much of my heat, it's ridiculous. I really should just make my gloves on my actual model, uh, like, palmless. Just to let the poor paw pads breathe. Oh, that is way too thick of a line. Okay. That's fine. Okay. But yes, so... Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> I get overheated actually very... It's funny, I'm cold most of the time. And then as soon as I get excited, my body's like, oh, you want energy? Okay, your body's gonna pour off enormous amounts of heat disproportional to the excitement you feel. <laughs> Spots, I feel that my hands get so sweaty too. 
see, it's not just me. I always wondered how people can like do the whole glove thing constantly as like a look. And I'm like, I would be so hot constantly. And I still sort of regret it as my whole vibe is very, I have the steampunk gloves and I should really probably change that on my model, honestly. Because it does not refre reflect reality very well. It does. I just should not do it, is the thing. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I definitely can't do that at work. I can't wear gloves at work for an extended amount of time. It's also, I'm a little concerned about ever doing a hand can stream because I'll have to wear gloves for it. Well, I don't have to, but I, I have to. Just, it's a staple of VTubing in general. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to wearing, because uh, I'm probably going to end up wearing rubber gloves. Uh... Because I think about it, but I think a lot about doing crafts on stream and stuff because I really want to make um, stuff. We've been joking about maybe going to the con next year. I don't think I'll have the money to actually go, but if I do, I would like to actually dress up. And I have pieces that I do have the ability to make, like ears and stuff and a tail and things that I can wear in my human disguise to make me not look like a crazy dog boy, but like I actually belong at the con. <laughs> Craft stream would be so fun. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad you're, so, I wanna, I really actually do wanna do crafts on stream. I would have to literally move everything slash figure out a way, I could move my rolling table over here, or I could just film in the closet. I could do that. Y'all could get a, a hot view of the, the blanket that I'll probably drape over everything so you guys don't see all the massive amounts of like clothes that I don't wear <laughs> very often. I have lots of costume pieces. Um, I also have my, uh, oh, I have my lab coat out. I do um, science labs for work. Uh, I, I actually teach science classes uh, once a month typically uh, because they take so much prep time around everything else. Um, and hold on, let's see how this looks. So let's get this back to correct orientation. How does this look? This doesn't look too bad. I'm, I'm liking the way the lace looks. Yeah, so I think that's good for the lace. All right, so, oh, let me turn off the, I don't need the 3D right now. So he can go, there we go. Yes, but yeah, I have a lab coat that I have saved from back when I was in chemistry and back when I've done experiments and things. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, and now I teach uh, science classes once a month. And that's hanging up in my closet obnoxiously so that I don't forget it on days when I actually have science class. Azu, ah yes, crafting, you and what surface? Yeah, that's, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a question that I would also like to answer, uh, that I would also like to answer too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I really don't know. I would really, really like to do a crafting stream. That's all I know and that's all that matters. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take the end off of him because it looks awkward. All right. Let's do this. You guys get to see me draw the same line 50 times. I hope that's enjoyable. <laughs> this is this is such an art thing of like erasing the same line, erasing, erasing and redrawing the same line you've drawn like 20 times to make sure it's the correct amount of not wibbly. Azu, time to expose Ethan and talk about how he piles everything up on every open surface. Look, look, look. I have piles of important things. I don't know exactly what's in some of them, but most of them, I know the general idea of where things are, and that's important. There is the important papers tower that is currently resting on my nightstand. Um, that is... Uh, important letters going one way, uh, pay statements going the other, and then bills, and then uh, bank statements, and then other assorted important things. And when it's in a pile, you know where it is. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Azu, know the general idea of where things are, but also where was that thing and proceeds to look through all the piles. At least I know the general vicinity of where it is. At least I have some idea. 
<laughs> this is just how I live. Um, the problem is also that any surface is a table if you are creative enough. Ah, uh, yes, it's in one of the piles. Yes, um, there's also uh, the... Cl I don't know how anybody else lives, but I have the, uh, the closed chair. It's plural at this point because we've broken enough chairs that I've repurposed them to be tables. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have one clothes chair that is my clean clothes and one that is the like freeware pile that I should hang up in the closet that are like over shirts and stuff that really just need to be hung up. It's also, I think my Halloween stuff is also under that. Are the, are the skellies still under there? They are. I have, um, wow. I left those there for a whole year. I can take those to work again soon. <laughs> I have a skeleton, uh, uh, vulture and I have two crows and I have a couple rats. I don't remember if it's two or three rats. I have rats um, And I have a bat. I have a big bat and I have a little bat and uh, Those are all the skeletons I have and then I have a singing head in a jar. It's just a skull It's not the full head. It's just the skull. Um, I call him Jabberjaw because it's the same as it, it, I had a different talking skull as a child um, that sang um, and that was his name. And so he is also Jabberjaw. Uh, but yes, he's in a container and you can fill it with liquid and it still works even though it has mechanical stuff because of tricks of light. So it's really cool and I love it. And I, I love Halloween. I don't really get to celebrate it very much outside of work, but I love Halloween. If you can't tell by the, uh, the exhausting cadence of my voice. <laughs> let me, let me rotate this. I need, I need a different angle. Hold on. What angle do I want on this? To get this, that's what I need. Why is this the angle I need? Perfect, fantastic, all right. I don't know how I'm gonna do the front swoop that is the, uh, the hem of the skirt. Ooh, all right, that came out much better than I thought it was going to. The only reason I have some of these creases is because otherwise you would not be able to tell Azu's legs were crossed because otherwise the feet just look weird. Just sticking out there. Like I know that, they're, that their legs are crossed, but like I get really weird about creases and things just to, I probably don't need all of that crease, just a little bit of that. And this isn't necessary, but I will put it here. It makes me happy. It makes my brain go, ah, yes, a leg is there. Spots, it's the perfect holiday for fun. Yes, yes, it is. It is the best holiday. I love it so much. I have gone to, I miss going on holiday. Trails are way too expensive now. Um, I've been to really big ones. Uh, there is Markov's in, is that Maryland or is that Pennsylvania? There is Markov's on the eastern side of the U.S., and that's all I can remember because I was not the one to drive there. Um, and it is excellent. If it is still open, it is absolutely excellent. Uh, they have, they always do two trails every year. You do have to pay separately for both if you want to do uh, both of them. Uh, I went, the last time I went on a year that one of them was the clowns. And that's all I remember. Um, because I cackle as I go through the, uh, as I go through haunted trails because I developed a weird thing to help me cope with scary stuff and it's laughing, apparently. And then uh, one of the jester girls started uh, imitating me and mocking how I laugh at everything. So that's, that's how I remember the last year I was there was a lady cackling like I'm cackling because she's really irritated with me for not screaming. <laughs> Uh, I love it. But it's such a big place. Like, they, they burn whole trees. I've definitely talked about this before on stream. I've definitely talked about this. I I will revisit stories again and again. I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was... What else have I been up to lately? Has anybody else been to any kind of, like, Halloween-y stuff lately? Any haunted trails or haunted houses or anything fun? Spots laugh the troubles away. Yes, it was a coping mechanism that honestly, now I do indeed genuinely find everything funny. It's very silly. Um, but yeah, has anybody else, has anybody been up to any spooky stuff yet? It's already the 22nd, which is why I am trying to work on art. I'm not getting a lot of work done because I'm running my mouth quite a bit because I'm excited to actually talk to you guys again. I, I miss streaming. When I am away from streaming, I miss it very much. I do actually very much enjoy 
streaming and chatting with you guys and playing games and all that. It's just after a long day of work and dealing with silly, stressful people, it's really hard to then be like, all right, I'm going to be... I want to be an internet personality for a couple of hours, if you could even call me that, but, you know, y'all know what I mean. Uh, let's see. I think that's relatively, I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty fine. Spots, we're planning on going to a Halloween-themed circus on the 28th, but that's about, that's so cool, though. Do they, like, I want to know what goes on at a Halloween circus. That sounds cool as shit. <laughs> I, that sounds exciting. I... I hope you guys have a great time, honestly. You deserve it. Cause I I know um I know Cyrus also not been doing super hot, I don't think. Everybody everybody needs to have better better times. I wish everybody good things. I wish everyone good luck with life and stuff. Cause everyone deserves good things. There's been too much of the bad of running around lately. I don't know if it's just the the end of the year, if it's the seasonal weather blowing all the bad shit in, but it need to stop. It need to be nice and let everybody live their life. Let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, so that's good. Spots, I'll let you know after it. The college I work at has a circus on campus, so it's through them. That's so cool though. I love that. That is so neat. Ah. Sounds so exciting. We're doing silly work things. Oh, I painted a pumpkin for work. I may, I probably won't post it just cause that makes it a little doxable because it's a whole thing with work and they put it on their Facebook. So I won't do that, but I painted, it's a little, I made it into a fairy cottage and that's uh, that's as much as you're gonna get. That's That was my pumpkin this year. Last year's was a, um, Last year's I made a diamond back rattlesnake. Was that what I made? Yes, I made a I made a rattlesnake out of my pumpkin, um, which was really fun. And the year before that was space pumpkin. I loved space pumpkin. Space pumpkin was very inspired by they pulled out a wreath out of the thing and some like sparkly material. I'm like, oh, I can make the rings of Saturn around this bitch. And then there was a star, a wooden star that I knew the exact place of that I put on the top. So it looked like the, the stem was a comet, which made me very happy. But yeah, that sounds so cute. Thank you. I am. Um, I love this kind of stuff. Um, I may, I may at some point show you guys uh, all my weird little crafty things. I don't know. How <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to be working at this job at this rate. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I really that's the most that's the most Halloween stuff I've done this year because we just really haven't been doing much Halloween stuff uh, We did a very oh work was fun. We did a very f It was a fall festival um, it, it My boss I love my boss. This is another point of stress my boss gets ideas and then proceeds to change them without telling people and or we'll have a meeting about the event the day before the event and so we'll be woefully unprepared for things and uh yeah so it was supposed to be a fall festival there was five tables set up with two crafts one of them being my pumpkin painting station so everybody got to paint little pumpkins and uh the other being this childish kindergartner stuff uh foam sticky things um yeah and uh yeah there was all the there was a couple things but um it was it was kind of really empty and i had to be like hey so can we get music at least because it's empty this is there's not a lot going on here they had one active game um and then my boss called in uh a couple animals which usually don't get that big of attendance when we have animals uh come to our work surprisingly you'd think a lot more people would want to pet things but it's usually not very well attended um, for stuff like that, but it could have honestly been the animal meet and greet because that's all anybody wanted to do was go eat the eat the goodies and go sit and pet animals. And then, so I was worried for nothing because no one came down to any of the other stuff except a couple people. So uh, it was fine. It ended up being fine. It was very stressful beforehand though because my boss takes everything to the last second and it's always less than what I think it was intended to be. That sounds so sad. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it's always a lot. Whew. No, I'm still hot. I'm not shedding any more layers. I swear. 
spots. I'm glad they like the animals at least. Yeah, I'm glad they did too. It was sweet. Um, my boss picked up a, a goat and stuck it in my arms. That was fun. <laughs> I was like, I'm holding a goat now. I would be very happy if I wasn't intensely worried it's gonna shit on my work clothes. <laughs> it's wearing a diaper, but they have been there before a number of times and they almost consistently somehow find a way around the diaper. I don't know how, but they do. And, but it was so sweet and it just chilled there. She's just like, yeah, just keep the, keep the hooves going straight down and you'll be fine. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> This is just my child now, I guess. But it was cute. It was fun. I I had a very anxious day up until that time, but it ended up going fine. It's... This has been weird. I feel like the only thing I've done is work in anime. That's not bad, though, the anime stuff. Oh, we've also been playing games. I can tell you guys about the games I've been playing. I have been playing Star Ocean. The newest question mark one. Um... Star Ocean Divine something or other. I forget the actual. I played Star Ocean till the end of time. Whichever the third one is. Uh, years ago. So this is my first time diving back into Star Ocean. And they have like the newest one that came out I think last year or the year before. Um, on the PlayStation subscription service. So I got to play that. And I'm very happy about it. It's very... I have to... Spots, I have to tell Syrah. Uh, the game I'm currently playing, um, they're, they're currently waging warfare, uh, biological warfare, using seagulls. The seagulls are agents of terror. <laughs> they, they, the seagulls are, are just... Are helping the bad guys in this. And it's very funny, because the first thing I thought is, oh no, Syrah's carrying the plane. <laughs> It was the best thing. I was laughing the entire time. Oh, I really have to tell her next time I talk to her. Oh, I should I should I should just send it to the group later and be like, Syra, <laughs> your brethren are terrorizing my video game. <laughs> weaponized seagulls. Yes, weaponized seagulls. It's fantastic. I think for the bottom layer, we're going to copy this line and then just bring it down because otherwise I'm gonna mess this up. Let's let's do this. Let's copy this. I can always fix up the edges. But let's get this copied down here. Because as much as I don't mind hand drawing everything, this is one of those times where I should definitely not. It's too big of a space otherwise. Control C, Control V. And let's move them straight down. Oh, and I think I need to widen it. Do not keep the aspect ratio. That looks proximate. However, it does not match my sketch. So I'm gonna have to figure out my diamonds again. Why don't I make things easy on myself? But yeah, so I've been, it's been a very fun game. Um, I don't know if you've played, if anybody here has played any of the Star Ocean games, but it usually ends up with a uh, a person from an advanced technology world gets trapped on a much more medieval setting planet that they are not allowed to let them know that they are from, you know, off world because, you know, they're protected planets. They haven't gotten to the galactic stage yet. Um, but it also has fantasy elements to it. So it's basically going from the sci-fi world to fantasy setting. And it's really an interesting combination. And that's kind of a reoccurring theme. In this one, um, the guy does not, the main character, you have, oh, you have two options, main characters. You have the princess, uh, who is also basically a paladin uh, of, the, uh, of the world that he's landing on. Or you can play the guy who has this, very just he's got a mullet he is a mullet his character design is mullet i could not in good conscience play mullet so i'm playing the princess <laughs> um and i love her she is adorable uh but yeah so he uh mullet does not care about the i forget the actual name of the protected planet act i think it's like the 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 p3 pact or something like that he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> He just he's just like, yeah, no, I crash landed. You got to trust me because I need to go find my crew. I'm a bad captain if I let them die here. So please help me. I will say that for mullet man. He is brash and bullheaded, but he really cares about his friends. And I appreciate that. I just also find it just mildly 
anxiety inducing that he's just like, yeah, let me just tell these uh, not up to technological standard folk that uh, I'm from an entirely different world and act like that's gonna be a fine decision. It's sort of okay. It's worked up until now. I still, it's gonna come back to bite him in the ass. It, it, it's going to definitely just based off the trailers. Someone's gonna be chasing after his dumb ass. Mullet man, yes, mullet man. <laughs> but it's a really good game so far. I've very much enjoyed it. I said screw it and put it on easy mode because uh, it's an RPG, so it's a lot of grinding. It's a lot of grinding. And I usually go with the, um, the rule of if it exists, fight it. So anytime you're going back through a, a territory or a dungeon or anything like that, you just basically fight anything you come across. And that's a good way to keep up with the uh, level they want you to be. I just couldn't. I just... I, I've been doing that and it's so much grinding and it's fine, but it's nice to be able to skip the fighting every now and then. So I just suck it down to easy and said, fuck it. <laughs> it also keeps me from having to replay boss fights a lot because I'm really just there for the story and a good time. And because I don't want to be playing it for five years because those games take me a long time to get through. And it's already on a subscription service. So I'd like to get through it sooner rather than later. But yeah, it's been good. Spots, I just looked at the game cover. That is a mullet. It is a mullet, I told you. He's he's a nice enough dude, but his character design leaves so much to be uh what is what is the phrasing I'm looking for? So much to be so much to be desired. His char I, I He's a nice dude. He is. I just can't. He's He's such a dude. He's such a bro dude. Like he's very nice, but like I, I don't think I've met a straighter man in a sci-fi setting. <laughs> uh, just he needs, he needs to date his uh, robo companion. That's what I. That's what I want for him. I want him to just date his friend that is an android. I think they'd be cute together. Uh, this this game actually does not have romance officially. It's one of those ones where it. Uh, we looked it up because I was intrigued because I'm me and I like a good romance. Um, but so Azu looked up for me and said, there's no official romance. It's just a lot of stuff that's like hinted at. And I'm just like, okay, but then the princess and the sweet little healer girl had a moment where the princess could have either offered her her shoulder to sleep on or her lap. And I'm just over here like, that's gay. <laughs> Can I have this? Can we just, can we just, there are, there's only a three year age difference. I think it's fine. <laughs> a little concerning because uh, the princess is 19 and the healer is 15, but it's a fantasy setting and she's considered an adult. So I'm like, and they knew each other as kids. So I'm like, this is fine. They can be, they can be cute together. And they're doing the cute, uh, very uh, lesbian stereotype thing of, uh, yes let's be friends and they're really cute and awkward about it and i'm just like okay but everything up until this point i didn't realize i thought maybe they were being a little silly around each other but now i'm just like this is whole gay and i was so flabbergasted about the option because i was not expecting it to be honest that i didn't hit it in time and the default option is shoulder and i was so mad and i'm just like damn there is a romance i probably fucked it up already so mad I think they'd be adorable with each other. They are so cute. The healer girl's adorable. She waves her arms around with her big sleeves whenever she's panicked. I don't need to add the buttons yet. Let me add. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But yeah, so, and I love, I first was going for the, oh, I love the, the best friend trope growing up. And uh, the princess has a retainer with her that is her childhood friend. His name is Albert, and I love him. Uh, and I was like, oh, I want them to be getting together. But then they had this cute little moment where they were like, oh, someone mistake, mistook us for brother and sister. And like, you can be like, yes, if uh, we were brother and sister, I would be either the older sibling or the younger sibling. And I'm like, oh, okay, so they're, they're fully just sibling energy. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But now like, now we have the option of like, let's, let's let the princess date Nina because that would be fun. Spots, I believe in your abilities to still win her over. Thank you. <laughs> you have more faith in me than I do. I think it would be cute. Like I said, the princess is adorable. 
um, and so is the healer. And we also have, um, I'm very concerned about their, we just met their cousin, the princess's cousin officially, but he can, he treats out Baird like a little brother. So it's basically, they're both their cousin at this point. Um, and uh, he, he's, we've been calling him legs because he has armor only on his legs and you get him as a temporary party member. And I'm just like, this boy looks like Axel. He, he got the edgy red hair with the, with the also kind of, not a mullet, kind of, well, it's spiky. It's spiky and red and he has little, little angsty braids on the sides and oh, he has nothing but leg armor on and he does not fight with his legs. He has a halberd. He, he has a, a spear with an ax on the end and he spins it around and I'm like, so, and he's only a temporary companion. And I'm just like, hmm. You have, an, you have a design that says you're an important character, but I don't get to keep you, and your armor does not match your fighting style. Are you going to be a villain later? Because I, I like conspiracy theories. I like trying to figure out the weird plot stuff beforehand. Um, this is also partially Azu's fault because we sit here and talk about little things, and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder, is he going to be, is he going to be a villain later? Cause that's my current silly theory that's probably not actually accurate. Accurate, accurate. <laughs> uh, everybody gets to look at my terribly drawn triangles, diamonds, I guess. Oh, why did I say triangles? They are diamonds, I'm silly. Uh, but I could have used a brush for this. I definitely have a diamond pattern brush. That I definitely have. I, however, would have been really weird about the, um, this is gonna drive me crazy because my line is a little off. So this is all gonna be a little off. That's fine. I'm just gonna have to approximate it. Because I got really particular about the placing of the diamonds for pers for uh, perspective reasons. Uh, how does this look? Hold on. Let's let's write this. Oh, that does that does not look bad. That does not look bad. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better even though it has messed up my whole process. I have... What else? What else? That's the that's the only real game I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of stuff. So I've played a little bit of Rune Factory 4, which is also on... PlayStation has... The PlayStation thing has a lot of games on it right now that are very good and some nostalgia ones. I had not played Rune Factory 4 before, so me playing it now has been really fun. Um, but I got to what I, I was like, is this, this can't be the ending. I'm like level 30. Um, but I got to the ending of act one and I just haven't picked it up since. What else? What else? What else has been going on in my life? What's been going on with y'all? Anybody picked up any, any interesting games lately? Rune Factory 4 is so good. It is so good. I need to get back into it. Honestly, I like it so much better than Rune Factory 5. Uh, the... Who did you end up romancing? I romanced Dolce. I really, I went, looked at all the candidates and I'm like, I was gonna romance the night girl because I like her, she's cute. But then Dolce happened and I'm like, you know what? Dolce is just a superior being. I'm just gonna romance Dolce. So I'm romancing Dolce. Also because I can just make flan and give it to her every day, which is so convenient. <laughs> It's so convenient. I just make a flan before bed and then run over to her in the morning. And be like, here's your daily gift a flan. Have this. Um, you know, totally valid. <laughs> um, I, and it made, me, it made me sad because five it was open to any gender can date anyone, which was really a nice touch. So I could be gay in that one, which made me very happy, but I can't be gay in this one. I would probably have ended up, I don't really like a lot of the male romances either, to be honest. Um, I, except for now I got, um, oh, what is his name? He's voiced by Matt Mercer. The uh, the fox uh, Egyptian looking guy. I don't remember what his name is, but he's, I would have probably, I would have been like, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's Matt Mercer. <laughs> and he's a disconnected, uh, doesn't know what's going on with, uh, with the real world anymore kind of guy. And I'm like, I I think he's precious. I think I would have probably picked him. Fox boy, yes, I love Fox boy. You romanced him so <laughs> He is great. I really do enjoy him. I haven't had him long enough to get a lot of his story stuff. So I'm really excited to see where all his stuff goes. Um, Cause I love their little uh, like story tidbits. So far I've only watched a couple people's um, 
couple people's things. Uh, we did part one with Dolce and the sign floating around and getting chased by her little ghost friend. I love their dynamic though. <laughs> uh, oh, what is her name? Her name's, um, then, uh, spots, then second attempt, I dated the hot springs girl, went full 180 in personalities. <laughs> oh my God. I do love her. She's adorable. She's great. Uh, this was another uh, occasion of Azu looking at my screen and going, okay, but why can't we date the mom? <laughs> Uh, which is really funny to me. Her doll is precious. I love her doll. Her doll is so funny. And also just the hee hee, like, uh, she's like, you're just a pervert <laughs> following me around all the time and bothering me. She just loves her so much. It's so funny. She's very much a, uh, a minion, like, hey boss kind of character of like, boss is the coolest thing ever. He calls her Dolly. I love that she calls her Dolly. I think that's adorable. Let's see. I'm mad because I remember her name, but I haven't picked up the game in a hot minute, so I can't remember the little doll's name. Um, but yeah, I almost thought about doing this whole thing, but having my dog self uh, dressed up as her, her little doll uh, jumping up in the background, but I just, I'm like, I don't have time for that. Also, it's weird to have me twice. Just because I thought it would be cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I almost did that. But I ended up nixing that one. I don't like that the diamonds aren't super... It's fine. This is all hand-drawn. And all that matters is that I'm happy with it at the end. And that Azu is happy with it at the end. Because this is very much... Uh, this was kind of Azu's birthday present. I, we don't usually buy each other gifts. It usually ends up being something silly, like we just get chocolates or we just watch a movie together or something. It's not really anything big. Also, is really not keen on their birthday so much. Um, and my birthday has been a series of, oh, this year's birthday was great though. I got to play with everyone. That would, that actually made me very happy because I've had a lot of, I've had a series of birthdays of people promising to hang out with me and then not doing that, uh, which is, which makes me sad. Um, but so this was this was a nice year. I enjoyed this year. Um, but usually we don't really do much for our birthdays, except just kind of hang out. Spots. Oh, that would be a cute alternate outfit for you, though. Thank you. <laughs> I might do that at some point, just to, just for giggles. I feel like I need to move the diamonds up or something. I don't know what's going on here. I really should have just taken a moment and recalculated all these, but I'm not going to because I do not have the patience to redo all of my silly art math. If you can call it art math. You can kind of see the diagram I have of where, you can see where I spaced it out between each one and then was like, this is exactly how it's gonna go. I kind of just need the little little hands of the diamonds to touch and that's fine and now we can do the buttons okay so let's see how it looks so we need we need a quilted pattern you know what it's not actually that bad it's gonna be one of those once it mm, this section bothers me hold on let me fix it spots ah so sorry ethan it's okay i'm fine with the way things have been. It's it's been a long series of just kind of muddling through. And it has been that way since I moved, since I, honestly, since Azu kidnapped me from my mother. It has been a lot of us being as good as we possibly can be and just kind of muddling through things. And that's fine because it's better than what it was. And that's all that matters, that things have been better. Is it a significant improvement? Yes. Is it exactly what I want? At all, not necessarily, but it's fine. Because it's better than it was before. And that makes me very happy. I have had a time with my childhood. And I'd get into that, but y'all don't want to hear all that sad stuff. We've already talked about a lot of sad stuff, like my health things. And I like to keep this fairly uh, away from real world problems just mostly because I like to keep this space very comfy 
It's not that I don't want to share, it's just that I don't want to accidentally overshare and then make this like a me. Did that help at all? Hold on, let's see if that actually did anything. Ah, the, yeah, it, that's a little bit better actually. But I just want this to be a nice space for people to come and hang out with me and just vibe, just just chill. That's where I, that's what I want for my streams, honestly. Just nice things. I only want nice things for everyone. <laughs> that is all I want. And it's been great. I honestly, I the only thing I'm worried about for this month is uh, I promised to do the Fatal Frame stream. Oh my gosh, response! I don't know if you checked out the because I don't think you made you made it to the fatal frame because the fatal frame was fatal frame was an experience i was a little bitch <laughs> did the whole thing i was not expecting to be scared and i was which is most unfortunate uh but uh i was uh not scared scared but the my heart is constantly racing expecting something from around the next corner kind of scared um I, like, I don't do jump scares. Jump scares don't bother me. It was the ambiance of it, which is perfect, because that's what I like in a really good horror game. Spots, I miss those, sadly, but I need to watch the VODs while they're still up. I have to actually, I think, I should just go ahead and upload those. I have them set on an every other day, a new VOD should come up on my YouTube channel, because I don't know if the VOD is still exists on Twitch, because mine, I'm not affiliated yet, so mine only save for like a week. Um, but it is on my YouTube. I just have it on a schedule now because I forgot and uh, I, I completely forgot to update it. So it's not going to update until the 29th. Maybe I should up that one specifically. I just didn't want a bunch of things coming out all at once. You have a YouTube? Yeah, I have a YouTube. Yes, uh, here to plug my YouTube channel. Yes, if uh, anybody, it's in my links. I have a YouTube channel. It's mostly for VODs. It was originally, I started streaming on YouTube and then I was like, YouTube feels lonely. It's not as interactive. You can't do as much stuff with your chat. And so I was like, I'm just gonna, all my friends are on Twitch. So I'm gonna pop over to Twitch. <laughs> Spots, gas. Oh yes, Spots, if you feel like it, uh, you can watch my uh, scuffed, not quite a debut debut <laughs> with my echoey ass microphone and uh, just me rambling. 80 miles a minute about all of the specific things I like. Ozzy was like, why did you put so many things on your slides? And I'm like, because I don't know how to do things small. I only know how to do them very much. So <laughs> It's all or nothing with me. <laughs> so I listed basically every anime I like that I like a lot at any rate and that I did at the time and things like that. So it's, it's, it's an experience. Perfect. <laughs> That was back when I was still re very nervous about streaming, too. I got over my nerves, I think, relatively quickly for someone who has as much anxiety as I do. Um, I, I really, streaming doesn't bother me so much anymore. It's nice to just chill and chat. It's fine to me. Um, and it's a good thing. I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to fill space with talking. And you guys know me now, so you know that I let, I can talk quite a bit. I'm just not used to it because I spend a lot of my days very restrained, very much not uh, talking over others, things like that. Um, this has been a great space to just let me ramble, but I also have caught myself rambling too much and circulating back to the same topics <laughs> and not realizing I had the problems that I do have. Because uh, I was like, I, I'm not sure if I have ADHD. I definitely have ADHD. <laughs> Um, it's become very apparent, um, aside from, you know, diagnosis things. Uh, but yeah, so, um, oh, yes, what was I going to say? I was going to say, yes, uh, I have developed a silly little habit, um, IRL, where I will narrate things I'm doing because I'm like, if anybody sees me doing this strange thing, they're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? So I'm like, let me just say what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, kind of. Like, it's not super narrating. It's just little like thought things and I'm like, this contributes to the scene that I have created in this space. And then I realized belatedly that it makes me look fucking crazy. <laughs> but it works really, really well for streaming because I can just narrate constantly what I'm doing. And it's preferable. <laughs> and 
I'm actually really glad about that because I was very scared that I would get very fixated on like drawing and things like that and just not be able to keep up with story time. But I've, I've done pretty well with it. But yes, what was I saying? Oh yes, I, I have VODs. Uh, the, the VOD for the first episode of Fatal Frame um, is not up yet. Uh, I will, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just release them all. I just didn't wanna have a bunch of dates. A bunch of bunch of dates. I didn't just want to have a bunch of uh, videos posting all at one time, but since it is uh, Halloween coming up very shortly, um, if you want to catch up, that'll be. I will. I will do that. I will. So within the next couple days, expect to see stuff on my YouTube channel um, for Fatal Frame and everything else because Dredge is also scheduled to drop. Um, but I will prioritize the Fatal Frame instead of the Dredge because I want to get the Dr I want to get Fatal Frame done because that was supposed to be Retro Spooky Month and then I've streamed once Retro Spooky Month and it's already the 22nd. So I might, don't quote me on this and don't let the universe jinx me, please. All that be, the chaotic creatures that rule over the heavens, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to stream as much as possible this next week plus. I think it's only really a week plus two days left. Yeah. You do great at keeping the narration going. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and stream as much as possible. So you might see a lot more streams coming up on days I don't typically stream. I will still, as always, tweet them out. I will update the group. I need to finally, me and Azu have been working on and off on getting a Discord uh, started for me, for the Mimic Trap, the channel, and my shop. And we just haven't gotten through all of it. And I'm very anxious because I've never run a Discord before. I don't know what all I need. And it has been been a whole thing of like, what do I do? What, what do I need? Uh, and just me being an anxiety creature. <laughs> so that's, that's why I haven't gotten one up yet. But I will get one up because I think that would be better for people who actually want alerts. Because people have stopped using Twitter, honestly. For the most like i've seen a lot of people hop off twitter and i know a lot of people who don't use twitter often enough to keep up with updates on that and i spot type yay i'm glad you're excited um so we're, that, i will get that rolling out soon i also have to probably once i finally figure it out uh, and get everything to where i'm comfortable opening it up to people uh i will have to probably post a new link like every uh every so often, every stream or so, uh, because it's not gonna be a permalink, unfortunately, because I don't have, I think you have to have a boosted server for that. And it's like, I don't have enough people and I don't have a lot of money. So I, <laughs> I will see what happens as it happens, but I can't make a permalink yet. So I will try and post the link, uh, a fresh link as often as possible once I do get it up. Uh, I'm still very, I learn a lot by doing. So even though I have friends who do the things, a lot of this has been me kind of just floundering with like, I really don't know what I'm doing. I've never been this social in my life. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. I just don't know what I'm doing for the most part. Like streaming, I still like, I do the bare minimum streaming stuff because my computer can't handle anything else but like I don't have bots running in chat uh to keep people updated on what the things are spots doesn't even spots you've been here since like almost the beginning of me being on twitch and like you didn't you didn't even know I had a youtube because I don't remind people because I forget and also because most people have like bots and stuff running in the chats to remind people hey I have stuff uh I need to do that there's a lot of things I need to do that I just haven't gotten around to I'm just kind of I'm learning little bits at a time <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all very much for being patient with me. I very much appreciate it. Um, I think that's round. Is that round? That's fine. That's oblong enough for me to be happy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna probably copy paste this button and alter it as needed because I don't want to have to draw this round shape fifty times. And I want these all to be relatively the same size. Spots, I am also a, a head empty, heart full kind of goofball. Oh, Spots, you're so sweet. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I just, I adore everybody and I adore all my friends and Spots, you are a treasure. I, I'm so happy. I have, I, ha it's my, oh, it is my stream anniversary. On the 3rd of November, it is going to be my stream anniversary. 
Um, I don't know if I'm doing anything big for it yet, but in this year that I've been barely streaming, I have made so many friends and I'm so happy. Everybody is just so fucking sweet and I love them all so much. And I'm just, I'm just very happy. I've made so many friends and it's just been such a good time. This has just been, I'm just happy. I don't know how else to express it other than thank you guys for existing in my life. It just brings me so much joy. Spots, oh, that's so great. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a little wiggly boy over here. Uh, oh yeah, that was a thing uh, Azu told everybody in Hub World, but you guys haven't gotten to know. I do little wiggles when I'm happy um, as an appro a tail approximation. That is, that is an IRL real impulse that I do when I am in a human mode. Um, not so much at work because it's work, but I'm silly. I do silly things. I, if anybody ever questions whether or not I'm actually a I'm a fucking dog, okay? This is just who I am. I can't change this. Spots, even if you can't do something on the date, doing something around that date would be wonderful. Okay, yeah, the happy dance. Yeah, the happy dance. Yeah, I will definitely try and plan something. I don't know what yet. What do you think? What, what, what would be a fun thing to do with everybody? We could do, if I can get enough people together, we could do like a Jackbox games or I wish I could do collab stuff. I really wish, well, no, I can't do Jackbox. I don't know if I have, I think I might have one Jackbox packs. If I could get Jackbox on the PlayStation, could I have Discord and OBS running and nothing else? That is a question. Can I have that? I have to test things. I have to see if I can because Discord currently doesn't like being open when certain things in a browser window are open let alone actually streaming. That's the thing, party games are always safe for sure. Yeah, I like party games, party games would be fun. Um, it really depends what I have um, what I have time for, what I have money for <laughs> at the time. Uh, Cause I don't know if I have any, I might have a check. I have to check, I have to check because a lot of what I have now are subscription service, that way it saves me money in the long run because paying $60 for a game, 60 plus these days uh, is bullshit. <laughs> when you can just have a subscription service. I don't get to play everything I want to play, but I get to play more games than I would if I was attempting to spend money constantly. But yes, so, okay, let me copy and paste this button. I've been doing a lot of talking and I don't know how much art has actually gotten done, but I'm very happy that I've been working with everybody. Uh, because I am much more motivated and much happier drawing when I have people to talk to. I'm very much a person that can, um, that does better when other people are in my space with me. I would do really well if I had like a, an art studio with friends, I think. I think frequently about how, how would my life differ if I had just, if I just did art as a job? And it probably wouldn't be much, definitely. I would love, if I could ever do art full time, that would be fun. I would probably get really sick of it really quick though. <laughs> But yeah, we'll do some kind of party games. We'll do we'll do something. We'll definitely do something. And I want to do something where chat can interact a lot. So maybe something Jackboxy, maybe um, something online that's relatively free. I'll see if anybody wants to come actually hang out um, and stuff. I just gotta, I really gotta get stuff figured out because I don't know. I was just planning to do so much this month and then everything's kind of fallen through with everything that's been going on. And I'm just like, ah, everything's backed up. Oh. I also have, um, Idara's commission has been going very well. I know I haven't posted anything since the last time um, I drew for his piece. Oh, I gotta fix that, hold on. Let me go back to the last layer. I haven't done much on stream for it, except when I first started drawing his live 2D for his uh, his cat snake, his uh, snake femboy, his cat snake femboy <laughs> uh, model, which has been really fun to do. Um, but I've been rigging it because there's zero way I can stream rigging. Um, my computer just cannot handle both. It barely handles the rigging. Um, but yeah, it's been going really well. Spots, oh, glad to hear that's going well. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's, I've made a lot of progress in a very short amount of time until I started getting sick and stuff. So I've had to take a break. And then there's also this, but I was speed running the rigging for quite a bit of time. I did a lot in like two weeks. I did so much in like two weeks. Wild, absolutely wild. Uh, let's see, how am I gonna do this guy? Oh, nope, that's not what I wanna do. We will just use this as an approximation and then like this. 
Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so we'll do this, and then we will just move this here. Yeah, so that'll work. And then, because I want all these to be relatively the same size. So I want to make sure I don't, because if I, oh, if I draw these all separately, they're going to be weird. I don't want that. So that one looks good. All right. And then that. And this one. This one I think I can actually draw. Hold on. I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. And this one I'll draw here. But yeah, so Idris' thing has been going well. I've just kind of had to put it on pause because he's also been away. So I didn't want to work too much on it when I couldn't like check in with him about like my updated things. So now he's back, I think. I'm pretty sure he's back from, uh, he was away for a week. And I think he's back now. But I have to get a couple things updated. And then that hopefully will be one big project done, which I'm very happy about. Um, do I need to tilt this? I think I need to tilt this slightly. Hold on. Let's see. And then once this is done, I'll be free of a lot of my big project projects. And then we can work on other stuff. Yeah, that just needed tilting. Uh, that's much better. Okay. And then let's see. And then it's something similar. Ah! Oh no, this one's around the corner. I can just I can just sketch this one. There we go. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay, so that part of the skirt is done. Now I just have to do the rest of the lace. Let me actually trim this up. And then merge the layers. But yeah, so I've had so much going on and I wanted to get so much more done this month, but my health has just been stupid. And now I'm feeling better and now I'm gonna try and do as much as possible before my body does more stupid, so. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of my whole thing is I just have to be one step ahead of my body's silly things and get as much done as possible in a short amount of time. <laughs> Spots, the trim is coming along so well. Thank you. I am so I love the outfit design on Dolce. It's so good. The outfit design in general in Rune Factory is usually pretty good. Uh I will say for the uh, the female pro tag uh, for Rune Factory 4, I still don't understand why there is one uh, chain on one uh, boobaloo. Why? Why <laughs> Why is it only on one? And why? who decided on that? Like, it looks so awkward. <laughs> it's like, ah, yes, we must, <laughs> we must restrict them. It's so silly. I don't... I, I really don't understand some of the designs they put in here. Some of it's definitely just aesthetic, and someone was like, yes, this is the aesthetic we're going for. I think it also came out a long time ago, so it's probably just something that was very in fashion at the time. But I just I just think it's very silly. Spots, that is the mystery of a lifetime, my dude. <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm not the only one that thought, like, this was a choice. This was a choice that someone made, and it was definitely one of the choices that could have been made. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's see. Let's turn this off. Let's see. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. I definitely could have done this quicker uh, had I not been so particular about the diamonds and just used a brush like a smart person, but I, I like it. It's not too bad. Um, and it does give a kind of handmade, hand-sewn kind of vibe, which makes me happy. Now for more lace. Ah, so much lace. Oh, so I'm talking 50 miles a minute. It is, is it only 8.30? I thought it was much later than that. But I have been, I have been very, <laughs> talking very, very quickly. Uh, spots, you can only have one party, Booba. The other one <laughs> needs to be chained down, I guess. Right? <laughs> like, what the hell? The, the male model doesn't have that. I did like the little, like, chest armor they gave him. It's like a very strange, uh half breastplate I don't know what you want to call it but it was like I was like oh this is neat I, it, like his overall he's very soft looking I was like this is cute I like this and then the girl's outfit is so drastically different in silly little things like that it's like why who, who decided this silly silly people also, oh, also, I was having this discussion with uh, Azu at one point. I forget when we were talking about this, but uh, the the reason why I wanted to, I love the uh, the night girl. She's great. I love a strong woman in full armor. I don't know why that's such a great character design, but woman in armor is just yes. <laughs> Guys in armor, eh, 
sure why not, but like ladies in armor are just a lovely design choice, 100%. And she's also adorable. So that, that helps a lot. But I have a silly, I have a silly thing of, I mostly romance guys in games when I can, when I have the option. Uh, but I do like, I do like ladies who wear armor and are tough, but very sweet. That, that is, that is a thing. I say I'm gay, but there's a little, there's a little, there's a little in the middle there somewhere. It's just very rare. <laughs> ah! This lace feels very heavy at the bottom. Hold on. Little spots. The knight has total herbo energy, and I love her. She does. She does have herbo energy. It's the cutest thing. I love it. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it definitely needed a raise. Okay, there we go. That makes me feel better. Uh, I feel like I have chaotically been watching so many random things that I could tell you guys about. And I'm like, you guys don't want to know all of the strange little things my brain has been viewing for the past, like, two weeks. I've only been away for two weeks. I shouldn't have this much to talk about, but I've been attempting to rest, like, genuinely rest while I was away, which is not what I usually do. Usually, I'm working on a project or something, and I kind of just, I don't, I don't know how to relax. It's, it's a, it's a thing. It's called being a workaholic. Um, and just being an anxious little bean doesn't help at all. But yeah, so I've been trying genuinely to relax. Azu has been trying really hard to get me to relax. So I have so many silly little things I've been watching. I've been uh, looking at all the internet and reading and all this other stuff. So I'm, yes, I was reading today. Oh, I haven't told you guys about the the uh, the comic I was reading. I think it's considered a manhwa. I think that's what we call the Korean ones, right? Yeah, it's, it's, on, a, it's on tapas. Um, so it is free. I think some of it might be behind? No, because it's not finished yet, so it shouldn't be behind a paywall, I don't think. I don't know. It's on tapas. But it's, um, uh, my, I got, oh, what is the name of it? It's a long title. It's like, I got reincarnated as the, uh, the male lead's daughter. Um, it's so cute. And it's not like, so it's one of those isekai'd into a novels. But it's really not typical. This is one Azu recommended to me. And Azu has fantastic taste. If anybody ever needs a recommendation for uh, manga, comics in general, uh, animes, animated things, games, Azu has taste. Azu has very good taste. Um, I, I have okay taste. I Usually some of the things I watch are silly. <laughs> Azu, it's I became the male lead's adopted daughter or the male lead's little li uh, lion daughter is the names. Yeah, no, it's so cute and I love it so much. Um, it's, <laughs> again, I watch things that are surprisingly dark for how silly I am, um, but I like dark stuff. Um, it's very cute in a, um, if you have lions that eat wild animals, how they're just cute because it's a little family of lions, but they're also murdery <laughs> um, because the uh, not, they're not really good characters. They're very sweet to each other. The male protag uh, is not the typical hero vibe. His best friend seems like he's the more typical, uh, like the golden retriever energy. Um, but he's got big black cat energy of just like spots. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's got really black cat energy and so does the female lead that has been reincarnated as this little girl. And it's different because it doesn't feel like, um, it doesn't feel like an adult that's been reincarnated into a child. It feels like a child who has unlocked previous memories more because she does feel genuinely like she is seven years old. So it's not, it doesn't get weird like how some of them get weird. Uh, she does have a silly thing for muscles, but otherwise she's just a very cute child with a very traumatic and sad backstory because she's been living in this orphanage when and when she gets adopted it's been she's been having a bad time um and uh she immediately tells her adopted father and he takes care of it because these characters aren't good they're just fantastic <laughs> that's all i'll 
say. I just, I love their energy. I love that they're black cat energy together. They have so much cat energy in each other's presence. She's so nice to everyone, except people who are mean to her, obviously. Um, except when they're together because they just bicker, but it's really cute and very sweet. And he's very sweet with her. And he immediately, uh, the whole reason he wants to adopt a kid is because his best friend who has the dog energy uh, is a dad and keeps telling him how great it is to be a dad. And he's like, well, I want to see what that's like. And so he adopts a kid, <laughs> which is the silliest reason, but I love it. It's actually really sweet. And it's funny because in the, the novel, he's supposed to have a romance interest that humanizes him because he's one of those, the dark brooding characters that does the messed up stuff for the kingdom that the kingdom doesn't want to admit it does. Um, but she gets to be the one that humanizes him and makes everyone see like, oh, wow, he's actually a human under all of the cold, icy stuff and the, you know, murdery things. And I think that's cute. I think it's lovely. It sounds super, it does, it is precious. It's one of those things where you're like, this is so sweet, but they're talking about torture. <laughs> Which shouldn't be sweet, but it is. <laughs> so far, no one has been threatened who didn't deserve it in some manner um, that I've read. I have not caught up on it at all. <laughs> I'm like 20 chapters in, I think. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a whole thing, uh, but it's great. I, 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 that was this morning. That was just this morning. That was what I was, that's what I got sidetracked doing most of my morning in between working on this and everything else. Cause I was trying to work on this a little bit earlier, but I figured since I was going to stream later today that I was just going to, I'll just save it. I'll take a break. I'll have, I'll, I'll have a break for the morning and it worked out. I lost track of time. I think someone had messaged me and I was like, oh, that was three hours ago. Oops. I did not intend to be away that long. That long. <laughs> I've also been finding I'm getting more and more forgetful. I'm sure it's just like everything going on, but I really, I really feel like my brain has been left in places and I haven't found it yet. I just keep finding myself in sillier and sillier little situations of like, I had X amount of things to do and I forgot about most of them. Whoops. I've been, I've been a little ball of chaos on, <laughs> aside from everything else. <sighs> I am very sweaty. <laughs> Why am I so warm? The heat isn't even on. I get like this, whenever I talk a lot, my body just releases so much heat. I don't know why. I feel like a tiny furnace right now. Jesus. I just looked at that and something was wrong. Okay, I think that looks fine for the uh, the scallops. Yeah, they're relatively all good. Yeah, I think that's fine. There's a section here that they could come down. I'll fix it a little bit better when I get closer, but I just want to make sure these are relatively the same length. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. All in all, it's not perfect, but it's hand-drawn, so it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> Cause I am not someone who has consistency. I also have that problem. If anybody's ever looked at my art, because I am my own official artist. So all of my ear lengths are different constantly. The length of my ears on my dog form, the lengths of ear, uh, ears on my semi-human form, uh, the different pictures I've drawn of my semi-human form, my ear length changes a lot. And that's not just, you know, my odd transformation sequence going awry. That's because I can't consistently draw for shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's kind of become a running joke in my household that uh, my ears are of questionable length. You'll never know if they're going to hang down to my nose, to like the mid part of my face, if they're going to hang down to my chin. Where are they going? No one knows. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? No, and I definitely don't want to tie them in a bow. Um, but yeah, so that's a, that's a silly thing that I've been noticing more and more of like, ah, because I also accidentally drew my ears lopsided to begin with. 
Um, this ear was much higher up on my head, and I didn't remember. I'm like, what is wrong here? And my usual, uh, I shouldn't do it on, eh, it's fine. I'll just backspace. My usual ear trying, oh, um, really quick, silly, uh, thing for animal ears. Um, if ever you have a character that is mostly humanoid, but they have, like, animal ears, uh, on the top of their head, for example, a good way to gauge where they should be is you go from the tip of the nose, you go through where the eyes should, the center of the eyes should be, and go straight up. And so it should be a nice little V, and then you should have where your ear should go. So you get your base here, and you get your base here. And that's usually how I find where the ears are supposed to go. And let me erase that so it's not permanent on my face before I forget. But yeah, that's a little thing. Uh, I forget where I learned that. Did I learn that from Guy? I learned that one from Guy Galecrest, the original uh, artist of the uh, the Muppets for the comics, not for the actual, not for the show, but for the comics. The guy who kind of started it all. At least I think that's what. It, that's how he explained himself. I never really looked into him beyond that. All I know is he's a uh, he's an art, very neat artist who wears a cowboy hat all the time. And I went to one of his things as a volunteer and they let me take his class uh, and not actually do the volunteer work I was supposed to do, which was great because I was, I, I, I did not know what I was doing for volunteer stuff that year. It was one of those weird class requirements of, yeah, you have to go volunteer and do stuff. I'm like, shouldn't we be helping people out of the kindness of our hearts? Shouldn't we be not forcing people to help people? and stuff, but it's supposed to be like teaching kids civic duty and stuff like that, which I can appreciate. I just, the concept of forcing people to, you know, help others is strange to me because it doesn't usually work out the way people think it does. Some kids it does, most kids it doesn't, and I had a bad year that year, so I did not get all of the hours in I was supposed to. But yeah, so I took an, I took an art class for that. That, not for that, but that he, that was one of his tips. Um, where he showed, uh, the, that's why the Muppet's eyes are slanted. Uh, it actually makes them look a lot more lifelike than if you just had, like, the Google eyes on them. The, the plain round eyes. They have the nice oval-shaped ones. Let's see. Bots is a really good tip. Thank you! I'm glad you, I'm glad that's, uh, if anybody can learn anything from my art streams, that makes me very happy. I really like teaching. I still do, I still think about frequently, we talked about doing a, uh, like, art class days where I draw something and then I walk people through everything. I still would like to do that. Um, that's definitely gonna be once I get, um, stuff up and running with, like, my Discord. Because when I do that, then I can have people post their stuff to the Discord or they can stream in the Discord if they want. Um, so I can give people tips as they're going, which that'd be really cool. I'd love to do that. And I can always have that open on my phone, too. Because if it's not something where everyone's chatting with me on stream, I can just have it open on my phone. That way I can see actively what other people are doing. Rather than my computer dying because I can't have Discord open on it. Because that would be so much fun. I love, I love teaching and I love, I love doing art with people. So I think it would be just a fun time in general. Also, I love her lace. It's so silly but it's such a nice little flower design. I also drew it very haphazardly on the, uh, the sketch because I was just kind of trying to go and get the sketch done because everything was taking me five years. I also caved and you, you can see on the, uh, the 3D models, uh, the layer that I have. Uh, that the table and the chairs and all of the tableware are not, uh, they are not from scratch. That's because I decided to save myself some time and not worry about background stuff. Because usually I spend an inordinate amount of time on the background because I'm bad at it. So then I end up paying more attention to the background than I do the foreground, which is not good. Because that's not where you want the eye to be drawn. So I decided to be smart for a change. And behind all the furniture is just going to be like a nice little garden or something. That's what I'm thinking for this piece. I was really hoping I could get done with the outlines today. And then we could just go on to the coloring. Because I love the coloring. It's so relaxing. 
all this shading and everything is really nice. Um, but we can do that later on. I will work on this off stream and hopefully get it posted soon. And then, but I really, really, really want to get, um, I really want to get uh, Fatal Frame, the first one, out. Sorry, I bumped the mic. I bumped my headphones. Um, so I just want to make sure I get Fatal Frame 1 done by Halloween, hopefully. <laughs> we might have a binge night. That might be a problem. I have work parties on Halloween because Halloween's on a Tuesday. It's on a Tuesday, right? I'm pretty sure it's on a Tuesday. It's whatever day it is next week. <laughs> um, so I, it's going to be, I will try and, I will try and stream on uh, actual Halloween. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure something out. I, ha I will stream as much as I can this next week and a week and a half. We can we can change, <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we can get done. Spots. I got. I gotta go for the night, but so excited to see how this turns out. It's a super already super cute. Thank you so much. Have a good night. I hope you. <laughs> thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you had a good time. Um, and hope things are looking better. Hopefully you get to new computer and stuff soon. Everything gets sorted out. Oh my, I am very silly. Oh, if anybody hasn't seen, I can't believe I didn't say anything. I participated, I got my very first ever commission art ever because I'm so used to drawing my own stuff. Um, but uh, Trist paid for a birthday present commission for me for um, this thing we did as a collab. It's uh, the Sinful Soiree. I am Greed uh, and it is so good. It's done by Chidawak on um, Fiverr and I've posted it all on my Twitter. So if anybody's interested in taking a peek, it's all up there, um, including the link to the artist. But the artist did such a good job and I've never had art done like legitimately commissioned before so it was such a sweet thing and it just makes me so happy and I'm so happy I got to participate because everybody else was having fun with it and I was like oh I want to participate I want to draw art but I don't have time because I'm doing this and I'm doing rigging and I'm doing everything else so it was really nice to be able to participate so I'm super excited so if anybody's interested that is over there <laughs> um but yeah so I I had a really I have a really I'm just happy. I've just been having a good time with that kind of stuff. Um, and everybody else is up there too. I also reblogged everybody else who's participating. There is more coming. This is just wave one of the Sinful Soiree. I am Greed. Did I mention that? Yes, I am supposed to be the Sin of Greed. So I look like a shopkeep that is going to talk you out of coin, uh, which is very much the opposite of where I usually am. But it was the only sin I could really... Uh, everybody else kind of, it was mostly taken up and I kind of had been eyeing that one the whole time. Because so I was like, oh, I've got a good idea for greed. I literally own a treasure chest. Mort, my mimic trap, is a treasure chest. And so I'm like, what's better for a greedy bitch than your very own treasure keeper? Like, it's great, right? Um, but Ozzy was like, you are literally the <laughs> least greedy person I know. And I'm like, okay, but like, I hoard things. Like, I have trouble throwing things away. That's, that's a form of greed, right? And I was like, the only other thing I could be is like sloth. And they're like, that's terrible. That is, there is no way in hell because I'm a workaholic, which is the opposite of sloth. <laughs> so, and I'm like, yeah, you're right. But like, there wasn't a lot open because everybody had chosen other things. And I also don't, I don't see myself as very prideful. Um, oh, my alarm, my medicine alarm's going off, snooze. Um, I'm not very prideful, I'm not very wrathful. I don't get, when I get angry, I do get angry, but that's very rare, so I don't think I'm very wrathful. Um, I'm, what is it? So it's, uh, it's lust, definitely not. Um, uh, all that would have been was me making a silly, which I already have really silly things for the future in mind. <laughs> it's like a joking pun, like if you ever do a silly Valentine's Day art, it's just going to be stupid. It's not going to be what anyone would consider sexy. It's just going to be dumb. Um, so that's so not that. Envy, maybe, but I don't really... <sighs> Envy is probably something I could say I am sometimes, but not really. I'm me, and I'm happy with that, I guess. So, 
And envy is very much a, I don't like that this person is doing good. Like, it's not the same as jealousy. Envy and jealousy are actually very different concepts. Because, uh, jealousy is very much, I want what this person has. Uh, versus envy, which is, this person has the thing that I want, and therefore, they don't, I don't, if I don't get to be happy, they don't get to be happy. So then you fuck their shit up that you want it. It's like, um... What was the analogy I saw? The analogy I saw was uh, dumping gasoline on the other and on your neighbor's yard because their yard is too nice, because it's nicer than yours. That's 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 the envy's envy, envy is very interesting. So I guess I really wouldn't say envious at all. Um, gluttony, gluttony, I could say. I I like food. I I really like I like meat of assorted nature bacon I posted recently about me eating an entire pack of bacon because Ozzy was asleep and I have zero impulse control when it comes to meat products because I am a dog so <laughs> I don't know what anybody expects from me um but like what else what else so it's gluttony maybe gluttony maybe but yeah greed was the closest I could get is what I feel like so it's hold on wrath pride gluttony sloth lust Greed. Wait. No. Wrath, gluttony. Wrath, gluttony, pride, sloth, lust, greed, and envy. Yeah, no, I'm really not... really don't fall too heavily into any of the particular uh, seven deadly sins. Other things, sure, but... Like, minor things. Like, there was... Uh, I don't know... I forget what the other ones were, because um, Trist, who coordinated everything, really had, he had a lot of other, like, smaller sins that were kind of similar but adjacent to the to the main seven, which I thought were really cool. I don't know what mine, what other ones I could have been. That's why I like Greed. Greed's fun, because you can just like, hee hee hee, I have all the things. And it's not so much, uh, you can be a greedy bitch without hurting others. You can just want items. I liked how they represented uh, greed in Al uh, Fulminal Alchemist Brotherhood. I thought that was a really good depiction of, yeah, I want everything. People are also included in that. You're my friend now. You are my person. I'm like, that's kind of nice. That's not the worst way to have a greed character. I'm gonna add a little, little guy there. Just to make myself happy. There we go. All right, so the lace is done. How is this looking? Oh, this turned out nice. Everything looks relatively the same size. Fantastic, I'm so happy. Okay, let me, before I forget, let me take my medicine, because I did just silence my medicine alarm. Uh, don't mind me, I have to habit, I habitually shake my meds before I take them so that I remember I took them. It's a good signal to your brain that you did in fact take these. I also make sure to tell Azu, but that's because I have a person to tell. If you don't have a person to tell, shake your things before you take them. It's a really good reminder that you did in fact take them. Because you will remember the little rattle sound. I don't know why, but I'm also very auditory, so this probably doesn't help everybody, but for me it helps. Um, I do the same thing with morning stuff. My morning stuff is mostly just uh, multivitamin that my doctor's like, you have to take this. You don't get enough sunlight. And I'm like, that's bullshit. <laughs> I walk everywhere. I should get plenty of sunlight. But like, no, you don't get enough sunlight. Wait, did I never, never layer these down? No, I didn't. God damn it. All right, let me merge these. Merge. The fuck was that? Okay. Hello to you too, there's dogs barking. They're fucking pissed, damn. Such language. I'd bark back, but I don't want to blow you guys' eardrums out. I think about that. Honestly, I need to test how loud this mic picks up my barks um, because I have barking impulses frequently and I stifle them because I don't want to hurt anybody's ears. And I also want to eventually make that a redeem once we hit affiliate and I can make redeems because I think it would be funny 
make the dog boy bark. Why not? I think it's silly. I can also put other animal sounds in there because I, I am capable of other noises. It's just the barking is the... I'm a dog. It's the easiest for me. All right. Let's see. The shoe. The shoe. I made this line so thick, so I can't tell what I want and what I don't. I think that's fine. And then it's just a lace. Oh, what color are her laces? Ooh, her laces. Wow, her laces are sketchy. Okay, that's fine. That's easy enough, I guess. Oh, and on her shoes, it's not another button. Those are, are those bells? No, those are buttons. Wait, are these bells? They truly so funny. I think they're just supposed to be buttons. I don't think they're supposed to be bells. Are they? Hmm. That's a question. Azu, what do you think? Bells or buttons? Because even some of the buttons have kind of bell strokes through them, but I don't think they were supposed to be bells. I don't know. I feel like... Just do buttons. I feel like just doing buttons should be fine. Right? Let's see. Her belt. Belt on the new version. Yeah, because it all looks like they're all supposed to be buttons. They're not supposed to be. Oh! I can't forget her stitching. I almost forgot her stitching. Hold on. I almost forgot the stitching on the... Whatever the upper... Yeah, these. This this part. Let me not forget that. Hold on, let me change the angle. They're really nice with that part. Again, this is something I could do use a brush for. But Ethan's silly. Okay, how does that look? I think that looks fine. What do we think? Yeah, I think that looks good. Ah, oh, that last one's a little straight for me. Hold on. It needs to go up at an angle. Alright. And then we have... There we go. Oops, wrong layer. I think that looks good. Yeah, I think the stitching looks fine. Alright, so now just the boots. Which I should have... Oh, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's take a marker. Oops, that is the wrong. Let's take a marker. Oh, I did not silence my alarm. Hold on. Uh, there it goes. I'm psychic. Stop. Definitely psychic. Definitely a list. Definitely on my list of abilities. Definitely. It's not. It's very much not. I, the most abilities you can say I have as the strange creature that I am would have been transformation. But again, I am the runt of my litter, so I don't get the transformative ability. If I ever unlock it in the future, it'll be a fucking miracle. I don't get to transform into large dog capable of large dog <laughs> terrors. Otherwise, I probably would have ended up being an army dog. Instead, I got to be a regular civilian family dog, which was 
nice in its own right, but my childhood was weird. It happens when you are the creature that I am. And I think it would have been much better had I not been left solely in the care of my mother for a hot minute. But that is neither here nor there. I... I will go through my tragic backstory one day, I think. I just, I just like the comfy vibe I like to have for here. I don't like complaining. I actually, it's, it's a silly thing to say because complaining makes me feel better about life. But I don't like it because I know it stresses other people out. And I know that that's a silly thing. That I should be able to say things that I want. It's my own stream. But I know how I feel about things. And I, I just want people to be happy. So I will refrain from telling my silly backstory stuff. For now. We'll choose a time and day. We'll throw up a warning on the, on the stream. And we'll just chat. We'll chat backstory stuff. It'll be a warning day of talking about sad shit. I'll just leave it there so people don't feel like tuning in. They don't have to. No one needs to be held captive to my silly things. Not that my backstory is silly. But just that I try to always put a spin on it so it doesn't sound so, so, so silly. So sad. I don't like being sad. I want to be, be a cute, happy-go-lucky boy. Even when things are dark. Even when things are sad. Because that's kind of how I've got through, honestly. Keep a smile on. Make other people happy, and I'll be happy. Not always the best motto in life, but it works. For the most part. Okay. I have officially finally run out of shit to talk about, thank god. Thank god or not thank god, because I still have stream to run. <laughs> but um I don't have as many I don't have any other new things to tell you guys about. Spot stuck around for all the new things. Which was good. Um, but I will definitely try and get the uh Discord up and running soon. Something I wanna work with Ozu on. Ozu's like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know. I've never done a Discord before. What do you mean? What do I want? I want what other channels have, if I can, sort of. So other things, some things I don't really need. I'm definitely not gonna have like a not safer workspace. I just don't want to encourage that kind of shit in my, uh, in my Discord. Um, funky cursed memes? Yes. Things that should be behind a wall for people who don't feel like seeing shit like that, yes, I would like to have something for that. But I'll probably call it something along the lines of cursed memes. Just for me posting the weird shit I find. <laughs> That'd be something. But I don't I don't want it full of a bunch of naughty stuff. Not something I'd like. Not the vibe I want to cultivate. I do want to make sure I have space for people to chat they want to chat and for me to drop my fun facts and things like that because I don't otherwise have an outlet for all of the things I come across in my day um and I've that's the first thing I've put in that discord as a fun fact and I'm like and then I proceeded to never update it again <laughs> so that's there the mimic trap discord is going to be a place it's going to be interesting I don't like I said I don't know what all I want it's going to be it's going to be a lot of if you guys just kind of Chill with me for a bit. I will figure it out. Uh, we will we will come to... We, we work together. We'll make it a nice little spice. Alright. I think that's pretty good for laces. I definitely put way too much detail in on them. How small are these? Yeah, you're not going to see these laces very well by the time it's on a phone screen. Oh, well. It makes me happy. Hopefully it makes Azu happy that I put in all the little silly details that are entirely unnecessary. Mm, all right. We'll go ahead and do the back shoe. Oh, I only have to do one set of laces because one foot is all over the other foot. Haha. -ha. That was not an intended uh, perk of drawing the legs the way I have them. But, uh, hey. Something I don't gotta do. Haha. Uh -huh. 
really should do stuff like that for myself more often. Of a, hey, you don't have to draw that. Just kind of scoot things behind things. But I've also, I've already gotten the fingies kind of, like, there are no fingertips. Well, there's a couple fingertips you can see. But they're all Azus and they weren't in originally on the, uh, they're up here, hold on. So, Azu didn't originally have a finger out this way, but I didn't like how the, like, paw thing looks here. Because that's how it looks on the 3D rendering. However, I don't know. It's just the perspective of it. It just doesn't look quite right. And she's supposed to be holding a plate, even though I had to put the plate there manually. It just didn't look right for me. So I fixed it. I made it look sort of okay, I think. I Hands are hands. Uh, there is not a single person that I know that draws hands well that likes drawing hands. Now that's that's definitely a thing. That is that is a thing for all artists. I have never seen anyone who likes drawing hands unless they have like a hand fetish. Which good on them. Hopefully that means they draw hands goodly and that they don't upset themselves because they know how delicate and refined they should look or whatever, I guess. Because I will say, if I had a particular uh, thing about something and it was even remotely off, I would be pissed at myself. Constantly. I am glad I don't have any of those. The closest I get is the... I stare at people's faces all day, so faces... When they look off, bother the shit out of my brain. That is as close as it. Well, most things bother me when uh, when they look a little off because it's that uncanny vibe of like this is a human. I know relatively what a human should look like because I see them all the time. I see them in the mirror every day. You know, um, things like that. Uh, that's how most people view the world. Uh, but like when you do art, you kind of spend an un like an inordinate amount of time looking at people's faces and being like, okay, how do I draw this? And so you get uncomfortably acquainted with how facial structures should look. And so then the slightest bit of off in your art piece will just drive you absolutely fucking mad. There, there's no two ways about it. You will go crazy trying to fix things in minutia. Things that, if you were to zoom out, would be fine. Things that on an, another artist's work would be fine. That is... That's also a thing. Artists are very tough on themselves. I'm very tough on myself, for the most part. Um, I've gotten a lot better about it. I used to be very, very down on myself. But now I can at least say I do draw pretty okay. Am I the best artist? No, definitely not. For fuck's sake, definitely not. Um... But I do, I can acknowledge now, <laughs> I didn't used to be able to, I can't, I do acknowledge that I can draw. And that I draw reasonably well. Like, it's not perfect, it always needs improvements. Um, and there are bad days, everybody has funky days. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I, I enjoy the way I draw. Um, but artists, I'm very hard on myself. There's a lot of things for like, so I like my clean line style. And that is mostly because I cannot look at my own work and say, this is good if it's sketchy or scribbly. I, it is really a shame because I see artists who have like, there's little things that if it were on mine would bother the shit out of me. But because it's on theirs, I think it looks fine. It looks great. It looks fantastic. But if it were on my own work, it would bother me quite a bit. And I don't know what that says about my brain. If it's just the perfectionism, if it's the anxiety, what it is. That's the thing. I guess maybe you could put me in pride a little bit. Is perfectionism pride? It probably would count as pride. I think for the, going back to the seven deadly sin stuff, I could probably be on that just solely for the perfectionism. That would probably be where you could put me at. But then I also am a slob and don't, <laughs> don't clean well. I don't really care too much about my appearance that much. I do like an aesthetic, but like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm really, I'm a simple guy. I really am. I, again, I don't find myself very prideful, but I guess if you could lump perfectionism under that, then you could probably say that. 
That one would probably fit me best. I think Okami. Was it Okami? Yeah, I think Okami was Pride. He made a good one. I really like the art his artist did for him. It was really, really cool. I love everybody's art. Everybody's art turned out so cute. Everybody's was so good. Triss was very regal. I think his was Envy. I think his was Envy. I know we have a couple people coming up who are on the not Seven Deadly Sins set of lists. But then I think Goro was Wrath. So hopefully Goro's is coming out with the second wave because hers was the, the little preview we got was really nice. So I'm excited to see how everybody's turns out. I... Again, is it a button or is it a bell? Azu, can you take a peek and see? Is it a button or a bell? Because everything else is a button. But the shoes look like they have bells on them. Should I just do a button so that it aesthetically mixes in with everything else? Or should I throw a bell on there? Because it also looks like it's been changed slightly in her newer design, which we were, we kind of were more are more familiar with. Because everything's buttons. There's definitely no bells. But I also don't have a picture of her shoes. Button? Yeah, okay, button. Okay, good. I'm glad you agree, because that's easier on me, because I don't have to figure out. Well, actually, but uh, bells aren't too bad, because you just draw a circle and then put little thingies on them to make it look like there's a, a hole for the, the jangle. I don't know how to describe bells. I do not know what you call the little slits that are in the bell that allow sound to come out of the resonating chamber, or whatever you call it. I just know it exists. I don't know the proper terminology for it. The resonating chamber, like I, like it has actual terms that I can, I, that I know. I, it's funny because I like a lot of clockwork stuff. I like a lot of things. I just don't know real terms for things. Like for um, clockwork things, I know a little bit. Um, I I had looked at some clockwork things, different escapements that are the the weird rigs that make clocks work the way they work, um, stuff like that. I I just kind of when I work on anything, it's very much a this will work or it won't work. Uh, fixing things much easier because you can usually take a uh, look, I can usually take a look at something and say, this is what goes where. Uh, this is what's missing. This is what it needs. Um, but for making something from scratch, it's really just messing with it till it works. That's really my whole, my whole model for doing these kind of things. Should I, should I do a... Oh, I kind of like that. Hold on. What's it look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right, so I'll do that. Adding little boot lines makes me happy. Not all shoes have them, but I like, I like structure lines. I really do like structure lines because I'm bad enough at feet and boots. Boots in particular, feet have gotten okay at. They're not fantastic, but they're fine. Um, but for this, I'm rambling again. That is not news. All right, I'm almost done with the main stuff. And then we can get to drawing the table and stuff off stream because that's gonna be boring. This is gonna be tracing the uh, digital stuff. Well, I say tracing, but it's a lot of making my own line work and working with it. I There are settings where I could have it do it for me. But I don't... I do want to actually draw stuff in. I know a lot of people do that with comics, and I think it's a little bit more acceptable with comics to kind of use workarounds, because you just don't have the time to draw every single individual thing and just keep going like that. I really don't know how mangakas do it for, like, the actual hand-drawn stuff. Like, that's wild to me. There's no way I would have time to do every, like, scenery piece in a comic. Mangas or anything. Because they do some really pretty shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know how, how they 
manage to save for time and just keep going. I know a lot of, at least from the animes and stuff I've seen, so take it with a grain of salt, but I know a lot of uh, comic artists are very stressed, very overworked, very doing too much constantly. Um, it's a constant cycle of new chapter needs to come out. Okay, so I got to work on all of the things. Um, but 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 do I want to? Can I? Do I have? Do I still have Control V? Do I still have the button? I do. You know what? Yeah, let's just save ourselves a little time. I will just edit this one. I don't feel like drawing more round shapes. As much as it's not the biggest of deals. I am, like I said, I have a little bit of perfectionism. And it bothers the crap out of me with round things. Which is why I started doing these this way. So like that. Alright. I did hand do the ones on the torso and stuff like that. But that was because they were right next to each other and I didn't have to worry about sizing. Because they're right there. And so I can kind of just eyeball it pretty well. But for these, I'd rather just copy and paste. All right, so let's merge a layer below. All right, so I just need to do Ozu's tail. And then I can work on the other stuff. So let's see how it looks. Okay, it's going pretty good. We got the skirt done. That took so so much longer than it needed to because I handed all the lace. <laughs> But it's done, so that's good. So now I just need to put Azu's tail on them, and then I need to draw the furniture and things. The only piece of tableware I currently have is Azu's uh, plate with the flan because I needed to fix the hands and it was bothering me. Um, everything else is gonna go on a separate layer, uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be that. So I'm going to probably hop off of here uh, in just a minute, let me save this before all of our hard work is gone to, uh... Oh, first time chap! Hi! Jiwo T... Uh, TWD. Hello! How are you? You came in right as we're about to end things, but welcome, welcome. Uh, we've been working on art. I have been... So, this is me on the right here. Uh, uh I don't have anything on this. Hold on. This is me over here. And then this is Azu, my roommate, who is a fox. I am a dog. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you, by the way. I hope you're having a great night or whatever time zone you're in. Um, but yeah, so we are dressed up as uh, Rune Factory characters, which I'll show you real quick before we hop off of here. We're, we're being uh, Dolce. Uh, Ozzy was Dolce from uh, Rune Factory 4, and I am Terry from Rune Factory 5. I very much like detective characters, and he's just a lovely being. And uh, yes. <laughs> So that's what we've uh, we've been up to this this whole uh, this whole thing. Sorry you had you popped in right at the last minute, uh, <laughs> but uh, it is late for me, so we're gonna hop off soon. But I will hop over to my shop, so you can see that if you'd like. Um, stick around if you want to. Let me save this again because I did silly things. Save. Let's see. Writing. Oh, I should, I should, before I get off, I should raid somebody. I think, I think my friend is still doing their, hold on, let's go over to my shop. Da, 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 da. My friend Luca is probably still doing their, uh, doing her, uh, long stream. Uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the subathon, subathon. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, she is indeed! Oh, they're doing... What are they doing? Just chatting. That's all it says. But I think they're playing... Um, I think they're playing... Games? What are they playing? They're playing something. I don't know. But yeah, so anyway. So probably when we come back next, I will be playing Fatal Frame. We'll be working on the part two of that. Um, it's the original Fatal Frame on the PlayStation 2. It has been a very spoopy. Um, I finally had to put cursing as a, um, a a warning because last stream I think I said uh, bad words um, a number of times. A number of times I might eventually at some point uh, just do a really funny uh, curse counter. 
<laughs> uh, for like all of Fatal Frame once I get the first one done. But this is the original 2001 Fatal Frame um, on the PlayStation 2, which is plugged into a uh, adapter to switch it to HDMI, which is then going to be plugged into my stream my uh, my uh, capture card. <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a whole rig. Um, but it's also, it's a little crunchy, there are no subtitles, but it's still spoopy as hell. <laughs> so that'll be, that'll be a fun time. I do want to try and beat the game before Halloween, before, uh, before October is officially over, I want to try and beat it. So I might stream more this week than I usually do. Um, if anybody is interested in, uh, getting updates, because I do do guerrilla streams, technically, I typically stream at 7pm EST, or, uh, Eastern Standard Time on the US side. Um... Uh, so that's uh, uh, ba -ba -ba, two and a half hours ago <laughs> is usually when I start streams um, just because I have a full-time job um, and they've become guerrilla streams just because life is a little cray cray currently <laughs> but if you're interested in when I am going to be streaming please uh, check my links and follow my Twitter because that is where I update when I'm going to be live and I usually try to give at least an hour maybe a half hour at like the least of an update to let people know that I will be streaming that day. I want to say things earlier in the day, but every time I say I might stream later at the beginning of the day, the universe says no. <laughs> so keep an eye on Twitter and I will be back soon. Let's go ahead and let's raid Luca. She is playing some, it looks like chat kind of games, I think. So we'll see what happens, but she is really sweet. She's been, she just did her debut uh, two days ago and she has been streaming for, let's see, her counter is down to an hour and a half. She's been streaming for 48 hours. So let's all go say hi and tell her to go to sleep soon. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead, let me click that. Uh, start raid. All right, everybody. Good night. Have a lovely evening or a time zone, uh, whatever time zone you're in. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Right now. Is it working? I think it's working. There we go. <laughs>